we're in the kitchen and you've got this amazing fruit and coconut and stuff in front of us because we're gonna make a totally yummy, and it's a big long name, so you tell us the recipe. Mango coconut chia pudding bowls. That's so good. Delicious. Um, my children, they love this. They ask for it all the time. Uh, the school that I work at, uh -huh. they just are so excited when they see this on the menu. Oh, wow. So it's a nice, fresh, summery recipe with mm -hmm. mangoes and some tropical flavors going on there. Oh, that's awesome. Let's dive right in. Sure. Okay, so first um, of all. Well, with, with chia seeds, you need to soak them mm -hmm. for several hours in order for them to get that gelatinous kind of a look to them because chia seeds, they look like this, uh -huh. but they need the moisture there to get them Plumped up Plumped, and yeah. all the rest of it. So let's talk a little bit about the chia seeds because they're so nutritious. They're mm -hmm. so good for us. They are. They are one of the best sources of L-tyrosine, which mm. is super important for thyroid health. And actually all seeds in general are really good um, sources of L-tyrosine. Okay. And But chia seeds are great for fiber. They are very nutrient dense yes. rather than calorie dense. Exactly. So they're excellent for um, just getting some really good nutrients in their protein and fiber and all kinds of things exactly. like Omega that. Omega-3 fatty mm -hmm. acids. And they're so tiny. Yeah. They're itty bitty little things. <laughs> they are. And I understand, you know, all the way back Aztecs, the Aztecs used to use this for strength mm. for their runners. So yes. this is really good nutrition, small but mighty. So the first okay. thing we're going to do is put coconut milk in the blender. So this is important to know that this is coconut milk from a carton, not from a can, oh. um, because you don't want the really, really thick, oh, creamy right. coconut milk. You just want the, the, it's the same type you use on cereal or okay. things like that. Perfect. And what's so great about coconut milk? Can we use other milks instead or? You can. Mm -hmm. um, this I find gives it a really nice flavor, whereas the other milks, like an almond milk or soy milk, it might be a little bit of a stronger flavor, whereas soy, like we talked about earlier, we don't want to have soy when you are dealing with a thyroid problem. So coconut milk is a nice neutral milk, it's good flavor, and um, it's just really good for your thyroid as well. Healthy fats in there. Okay, good, good. Let's put it in. And we're using a high-speed blender for this. That's excellent. So we're pouring in four cups of coconut milk. Okay, it's so creamy and white, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful color. And then the next step is three cups of frozen thawed mangoes. Now, you can use fresh mango, that's fine too. Okay. But this is frozen, it's convenient, you can get it anywhere. So it's, um, I have two different sizes. I chopped some of them and some of them I left whole because we are just going to put them in the blender. So you don't need to worry about right, exactly. chopping okay, those ones up. So so this is one and a half cups out of our three cups. So you, you want three cups, but you only want to cut up and put in one and a half of them first. All right. Because these ones here will go in later whole. So you have some nice chunks of mango oh, in there too. Okay, nice texture. Yes. All right, what's next? Next is a third cup of maple syrup. Excellent. Pure Canadian maple syrup. <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> and same question, can we use anything else? Could we use like a... Oh. You could use agave, um, you barley could use... Barley malt or any rice? Yeah, you could, as long as you don't have a gluten sensitivity, okay. you could use the barley malt. Um, you could use honey, but it would give you a stronger, more obvious honey flavor in there. Okay. But yeah, any sweetener like that is good, as long as it's a, a liquid, natural sweetener like that, that's yeah. the healthiest option. Okay, how about stevia? A lot of people like to use stevia. Can you use I've never stevia? personally tried it, but you, okay. I'm sure you could, just okay. experiment. That's what's nice about this recipe is um, you can change it up. You can change the milk, you can change the fruit, you can change the sweetener. This is a, just a good base okay. that you can work with. And I've done it with strawberries, I've done it with bananas, blueberries, just a whole, whatever you want. Whatever fruit you have, you can do this. Excellent, okay, what's next? Next is vanilla. So three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. I like the pure vanilla extract. Absolutely. The flavor difference is just phenomenal. It is, yeah. None of the fake stuff. None of the fake stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing is orange extract. Um, oranges and mangoes just go really nice together. It gives okay. you a bit of a tropical flavor. And if you use other fruits, like with strawberries, I put almond extract okay. in instead. So you just can change up the flavors that way. All you need is a quarter teaspoon, not very much of that. It is, and then a little pinch of salt, just to bring out the flavors. Now this is the pink Himalayan sea salt. This is the type of sea salt that we are talking about as well that you want to have um, for thyroid health. Yes, because this is naturally rich in iodine. 
whereas a lot of the other salts, unless they say iodized, they do not have iodine in them. Right. So that's the kind of salt you want. Okay, excellent. Now the next thing we're going to do is just blend these up. We are not going to put our chia seeds in yet because mm -hmm. you want them to go in whole later. Right, it's okay to thicken it up. Okay. Yes, so we're going to blend this, kind of like a smoothie. So smooth, yeah? yeah. Okay. orangey color mm -hmm. to it. Looks like a mango lassi. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love those. So we're going to just pour that into the bowl. Right. So it makes a really good amount there. Mm -hmm. So you could reduce it if you wanted to. Okay. If it's just you and you just want to make a little bit, definitely reduce the amount. Okay. But this is family size. Yes, okay. for sure. So we're going to now add the chia seeds to our liquid um, because of we're, we're adding the chia seeds and the mangoes, so we want to do it in the right order, otherwise it's just really hard to stir it. So first you want to stir the chia seeds yes, in because okay. they tend to clump. Right, that's so true. That's it's true. true. Okay. So I will pour these in and you can stir as I'm pouring them. We'll do that. I'll whisk it in there. Okay. You can get white chia seeds and you can get black chia seeds as well. Um, there's true. really no nutritional difference as far as I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. um, it's just aesthetics. If you prefer having it where you don't see the black specks all in it, mm -hmm. then you can get the white chia seeds. There you go. And if you don't, you know, mind having the black specks in your teeth sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, that's that's, good. that's whisked up. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's whisked up really nicely. Great. It's nice and frothy. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then we're going to put in the diced mangoes. Mm -hmm. So these are a nice bite-sized piece, mm -hmm. and we can put those in. Did you want to put those in? I will do that. I'll put this over there. Okay, and this already is just so magnificently rich with respect to antioxidant mm. activity. Anytime you see those brilliant colors, yes. we know that there's good stuff going on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and we just stir that up Beautiful. to mix them all in together. You know, it's starting to have the consistency of like, you know, when you're doing scrambled eggs, mm. you know, it's, it's got that, uh, it's getting to have that consistency. I find that mangoes, when you blend them up, you don't need as much liquid as you do with other things because they tend to have that same texture like if you blend up blueberries. So they must have a higher pectin content Ooh, in it. There you go. So they, they get really nice in the fridge like that. So the okay. next thing we would do is we would put this in the fridge for at least six hours. Mm -hmm. Um, overnight is ideal. You yeah. could always make this in the evening, have it for breakfast yes. in the morning, we and it's just ready to, to go. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. If you're able to stir it a couple times, then that's fine too. If yeah. not, that's okay. But just cover it, put it in the fridge, and then um, in the morning you have this beautiful, rich pudding. Ooh. This one has been sitting for, now this one's overnight. Uh -huh. Like yes. we were saying earlier, six hours is, is plenty usually, um, but this one's overnight. And so you can see that it got really nice and thick and... Beautiful. And plump. Yes. They plumped right up. And the color is just so pretty. So you can see the chunks of mangoes really nice. in there. Yeah, exactly. And okay, so this one is setting up already. Mm -hmm. Look how much thicker it's getting. So just got to keep whisking it a little bit to yeah, make sure Yeah, here and there you can do that. Not clumping. That's right. Have you seen where they're selling little packages, little bowls of chia pudding for yes. $5? I've seen those. I know. I've seen those. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of outrageous when you can make it yourself. Oh, yeah, really so easily. Inexpensively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. For so sure. What so, are what are you doing now? Well, what I like to do with this, and it makes it so appealing to the eye. Mm -hmm. you, you could just dump a whole bunch of fruit on it, but it makes it so much nicer if you just really take some time and garnish it. So that's what uh -huh. we're going to do. All right. And we have things like banana, fresh banana, some kiwi, some raspberries, just a lot of color. Some more mangoes for the top, some coconut, and some granola. I like having a bit of crunch on my stuff. Right. So well, you know what? Since you're the, the chef kind of girl here, let's see how you're going to decorate this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just like to take pieces and mm. make strips. OK. Let's use our spoon. So we make just some. It's a strip of the banana. Yeah different colors that really is pleasing to the eye that's beautiful already 
You can add some nice red raspberries Definitely. over here. And raspberries and mangoes are just such a lovely flavor together. Mm, they are, yes. Well, I can see why your kitties love this. They do. Uh -huh. The first time I made this for them, they just were, oh! <gasps> <laughs> One of my children doesn't even care for chia pudding, but he asked for seconds and thirds oh, because it looked like this. That's amazing. So that's a really good lesson right there. You know, people eat with their eyes. It's true. Yeah, so if you can uh, make it appetizing, especially for children. And granola excellent. is another thing um, that is excellent for thyroid health. The mm -hmm. oats are a good source of L-tyrosine as well. Mm -hmm. And the bananas too. And bananas actually have iodine in them as well. There so it's um, there's so. just a lot of, of good nutrition in this. So a few more mangoes on top. Beautiful. So it's all about reversing that thyroid disease naturally. Yes. Yes. Using our food to be our doctor. Exactly, food is medicine. That's yes. the way to do it. So there's some mango and we'll put a little bit of coconut, coconut over here. Oh my. Now look at that. Does that not just look <laughs> like you want to say, dig oh, in? <laughs> yummers, yummers. That is, you don't even want to eat that. It's no. Now another way I like to serve this too uh -huh. is parfait style. Okay, let's see that So one. you could fill up a glass a little bit like this. And then layer it. And then layer it with Wonderful. some granola. Mm -hmm. Now that granola looks like you made it. Yes, this uh -huh. is a homemade <laughs> granola. That's right. You can make it. I find it's a lot easier to control the sugar when you make oh, it yourself. Absolutely. And the sweeteners. So, and then we've got some some pecans in there as well. Wonderful. And that's one of the things, you know, a lot of people when they're shopping will buy granola thinking, oh, this is really healthy stuff. But in fact, there's a lot of sugar. It's true. Um, in a lot of the granola products. Yes. So we'll just add a few more fruit to our mixture here. Lovely. A little bit more kiwi. Give it all that color. Yes, get some color on the sides there because the clear glass is really nice. Yeah. And we put a bit more of this on the top. And then, am I guessing right, we're going to end up with the mango and the coconut. Yes. Like a few more pieces of mango mm -hmm. on the top. Maybe a raspberry for some color. Yeah. And a little bit of coconut sprinkle. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, who wouldn't like getting that for a dessert or a mm. breakfast in the morning? Exactly. Who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> That's splendid. Now, I think we need to taste it. I definitely think so. Just so that, you know, people will know how good it is. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. The mango just really comes through loud and clear. Oh, that's mm. awesome. I've got to try this one. I haven't done that one before. Mm, yeah, it's a, it's a nice oh, combination. Delicious. Well, thank you so much for lending your expertise and all of these wonderful antioxidant and omega-3 rich foods. And um, I'd love to have you on again. Thank you. Thank you. It was fun. <laughs> Great. It was fun.